Today we are going, going to solve one more problem from JS 2023 and this is basically from optics. That question number is 31. Okay, in that question it is mentioned that you have an unpolarized light having intensity I naught is incident on two cross polarizer. Okay, cross polarizer means the pass axis of first polarizer is, is oriented vertically and the pass axis of second polarizer is oriented horizontally. So angle between this pass axis is 90 degree. That's why they are called cross polarizer. And in between these two polarizers, there is a half wavelet is introduced. At time t equals to zero, the first axis of this half wavelet is oriented along vertical direction. Then with time, that first axis is rotating with angular frequency omega. So what is the intensity of light here as a function of time that you have to mention, you have to calculate. Okay, and these are the four options that is mentioned. So before solving this, let me clear you what is first axis. The first axis is the direction in a double crystal, double refracting crystal in which the speed of E ray is maximum. Okay, if I take positive crystal, then first axis is nothing but the optic axis of this crystal. Now, what is double refracting crystal? So, suppose you have a double refracting crystal and this is the optic axis. And suppose that linearly polarized light is incident at an angle theta with respect to optic axis. Okay. Now, this light will be split into two, light, two components. One will be parallel to optic axis that will be called E ray will have state of polarization parallel to optic axis. Another component will be perpendicular to optic axis that will be called O-ray having state, polar, state of polarization perpendicular to optic axis. So I'll solve this problem just by taking positive crystal. To solve this question, you can take the example of negative crystal as well. Okay. So when I'm taking that half wave plate as a positive crystal, so it means that first axis will be nothing but optic axis. Okay. Now when that unpolarized light is incident on polarizer P1, okay, that intensity of emerging light here will be I naught by two. And obviously that state of polarization of light here that will be vertically oriented. Okay. And at time T equals to zero, that optic axis, okay will be vertically oriented. It means what will happen that incident light is making angle zero degree with respect to optic axis. I'm taking this example as a positive crystal. So first axis will be your optic axis. So it will happen. Now you do not have any two components here that when that angle is zero between electric field and optic axis. So that ray will be passing as a E ray because why because theta is zero that perpendicular component that will be sine theta component will be zero because theta is zero and we know that E ray is nothing but again linearly polarized light E ray is nothing but linearly polarized light it means that ray will be passing without any changing intensity here that state of polarization will be vertically oriented and that is your E ray E ray is also linearly polarized light now the angle between this incident E ray and pass axis is 90 degree. Obviously that intensity will be zero here if you apply Malas law, cosine square 90 degree. So now if you put that theta equals to, at t equals to zero, theta equals to omega t, that is your zero. If you substitute it, here will get non-zero. So it means this will not be correct. This will be zero, this will be zero, and this will be zero. So among these three, that option will be correct. Now when theta equals to omega t equals to pi by 2, then what will happen that optic axis will be horizontally oriented in that scenario. And your ray or state of polarization of incident ray is vertically. So what will happen that component will be here only O ray. So there will be no E ray component, but there will be only that ray will be passing as a O ray. Again, again, that O ray is nothing but linearly polarized light. 
okay four is nothing but linearly polarized light so intensity here will be i naught by 2 that that will be same as that will be same as incident intensity and state of polarization will be like that because ore is nothing but linearly polarized light so this is your ore again and this ray is passing or incident to polarize at p2 at an angle 90 degree again if you apply malas law again if you apply malas law that intensity will be zero because angle between that ore or state of polarization of ore and pass axis of p2 is 90 degree so again it will be zero now if you substitute that omega t equals to pi by 2 here that will become cosine pi that is minus 1 so this will be non zero that that will not be correct because intensity is zero here here if you put omega t equals to pi by 2 this will become cosine 2 pi so on minus 1 that will be zero so this will be correct here again cosine pi by 2 that will be zero so on minus zero that will be non zero okay so this i mean condition only satisfying this option so correct option will be this okay thank you